I'm back with another showcase, and this one is going to be about Brandon Lee. But if, before we get into that, if you don't mind, please hit that like button and also subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell as well, so that way you can see all the good content that we got coming up. Um, and yeah, man, just hit the like button, basically, because that way this content gets out to a lot more people and people can actually see some of these top level fighters that are really not getting the shine that they deserve. So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this thing. So Brandon Lee, <clears throat> light welterweight, um, he's 5'10". And the interesting thing about him, like the way he looks, you think he's like, just straight Asian, but he's actually, his dad was Korean and his mom was Mexican American. So yeah. Um, so he's got that Mexican fight in him, but he's got that technical skill Korean. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I like this fighter, man. I really do. Um, primarily because he's susceptibly really like or subtly very strong and I don't think that people realize how strong he actually is but I mean they're starting to pick up on it now obviously because he's got 22 wins coming by KO out of 24 fights <clears throat> so people are starting to realize like okay man this guy got he's got a right hand and um but he's got he's got power in both hands though the 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 thing I like about him is he also gives you a lot of angles. Um and he sort of he'll set up traps for you along the way for you to sort of lean in to to meet that right hand. So he's um he's a smart fighter in the ring, a lot smarter than what people I think are giving him credit for. But yeah, 24 fights, 24 wins, zero losses. So definitely a fighter that you want to look into. Um, he won the, the vacant IBO Intercontinental Super Lightweight title um, back in 2021, March 10th, 2021. He's just been on a tear, man. He's just really been on a tear. Um, some of the stuff, I just read some of these things. It just says that Lee signed a professional contract with manager Cameron Duncan in the fall of 2016 and then debuted shortly after at age 17. Um, the next year, while he was still in high school, he's been trained by his father, Bobby Lee, since day one. And yeah, it just, um, I mean, he... It's, it was talking about, like, I was reading something about his amateur career and, and said that he won four junior Golden Glove championships. Four of them things. Four of them things. So, yeah, it said uh, he won four junior Golden Glove championships, the junior silver gloves three times, and the junior uh, pal five times, and then... He was due to represent the U.S. in St. Petersburg, Russia, but his parents refused to let him skip school in order to participate. Uh, Lee amassed an impressive amateur career of 181 wins to nine losses. Yeah, I mean, coming out of, out of California, I mean, the guy is, he's doing the thing. He's definitely doing the thing. So, um, yeah, I... I I feel like if you want to see a fighter that's smart in the ring, if you want to see knockouts, right? If you want to see a rising star in the junior welterweight division, um, and that's got a good frame, yeah. I mean, this is this is the guy that you're looking for. You know, Brandon Lee, five ten, borderline five eleven, um. I mean, what else can you say? He's he's a he's a type of fighter that he another thing about him, he's got he's got decent footwork too. But I would say another piece about about his game is his muscle memory. Um 
it's almost like he's doing this, like, I wouldn't say choreographed, right? But it's it's so, it looks like you should have done it there. You should have done that there. You know what I mean? It's like, that makes sense. It's almost like it was scripted when he fights. So I I like him. I like him. I and and I and the and the fact that he has such a tall build already. Um yeah, I I think he can go far. And I do believe that he'll be able to obviously put on some weight down the road and be able to go into the welterweight division as well. He's got he's obviously got the the hands. Um he's got the power. So he does have to fight some top level competition, but once he gets a shot, hey, who knows? So yeah, that's the that's the showcase on him. I, I definitely want y'all to go ahead and tune in to some of his fights, try to see what he's got going on. Um, let's see. I know I don't see anything coming up. The last fight that he had was uh, was December 11, twenty twenty one. So you know. And it was a KO in the seventh round. So, yeah, definitely electrifying fighter. Uh, definitely a fighter that you don't want to miss. And, yeah, you know, if you don't know the name, now you do. Brandon Lee is the guy. So, yeah, go ahead and, and subscribe over to him, you know what I'm saying? And hit the like button on some of his content. And I'll make sure that the next fight that he that he does... I want to make sure that I'm going to air it on this channel so that way y'all can see. I got some other fighters that y'all don't really know. Now, he's up and coming, and he's probably going to be a star down the road, but I, I got some fighters that, that don't even have no nobodies. You know what I'm saying? Nobody talking about them at all. And uh, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it because, yeah, you're going you're gonna to be like, man, who's that? Who's, man, I hadn't heard nothing like that, nothing about that dude. Yeah, we going deep, deep into the amateurs for some of these. And some of these probably will never even, they might not go pro. Um, I got I got two that's like that that probably won't go pro, but they're still worth the mention. But I got some young 17, 16, 18-year-olds that are about to, Hit it big in the pros. I guarantee it. You know what I'm saying? They had some pretty nice amateur career. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give it to, I'm not gonna give it to you. I'm not gonna give it to you. But but yeah, we got we got some some people in the stable, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all go ahead and, and and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And you know how we do on the live, man. Come on, dude. You know when I'm coming through with the live, you know how it goes, man. You know, we 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 do a little thing. I'm trying to, you know, I'll give you a little bit of the content and stuff, just as long as you don't snitch. That's all I'm asking for. You know what I'm saying? Just don't snitch. Because the last time, y'all snitched hard and got me blocked quick. <laughs> so so we're going to try to do it a little bit smarter because y'all y'all couldn't contain yourself. It's not, it's not, I mean, I understand. It's not your fault. Not really. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just were like, dang, oh, man, this dude is really... Yo, he's really showing the whole thing. Yeah, man. Just keep it on the down low. You know what I'm saying? Keep it quiet. So, like always, and as always, hope that y'all have a really great day. Hope that y'all are successful. And, yeah, peace. One love. Oh, we brought it back. We out of here. Hey.